Hi, I'm Ariana, and today we're going to be doing a fun yoga flow, focusing on stability and mobility. So let's get started. If you're not in a place where you can do this video with me right now, please save it to your watch laters and do it whenever you have time. Hi, welcome yogis. So today we are going to start off today's practice seated in Virasana. So warrior chest, like a string is lifting your sternum up to the ceiling, lift your heart, roll your shoulders back a few times, then roll them forward, then roll them back. Take your right hand to your side or to a block if you need it. Inhale, lift your left up. Breathe into both sides of your rib cage and exhale, start to laterally lean to the right. You can look past your left hand if you want, take a breath. And exhale, neutral spine, plant your left palm. Inhale, reach your right up. Breathe into both sides of your rib cage. And exhale, laterally lean, track your gaze up to the ceiling, take a breath. And we'll return center. So we'll journey into a tabletop position from hands. So come onto your hands and your knees. Knees stacked underneath your hip bones, hands stacked underneath your shoulders. Spread your hands out wide and press in through your finger pads, your knuckles. So you're trying to get rid of the space in between your palms and the mat. As you inhale, drop your belly, lift your heart. You can have your toes tucked or untucked. As you exhale, tuck your tail, bring your back of your heart to the ceiling. So inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, cow pose. And exhale, find a cat pose, round out your spine. Maybe find some dynamic movement. As you inhale, bring your chest forward, reach forward. As you exhale, almost sit back. Hips go back, crown of your head goes towards your sits bones. As you inhale, think of actively engaging your back muscles, squeezing your shoulder blades together as you drop the belly. And as you exhale, think about actively engaging your front muscles, your abdomen, as you come contract your belly, open up in your back between your shoulder blades. Do a couple more in your own breath. Any other movement that feels good, maybe rocking right and left, side to side. And then reset in that tabletop position. position. So really reaching through the crown of the head, reaching it forward. Maybe tuck your toes, levitate your knees, find a short plank here and reach through the crown of the head and the hip bones. So finding length, imagining length. Take another inhale here. And exhale, lower down. Keep that stable table, that neutral spine. And inhale, bring your right hand straight up past your shoulder. Exhale, thread the needle, right hand underneath your left armpit. You can go halfway here, or you can bring your shoulder all the way to the floor and walk your left hand out. So walk both hands away from your body and press both of your feet into the mat. You can stay here or you can walk your left hand over to your right corner of your mat. Open your chest up a little bit more. On your exhale, replant your hand underneath your elbow so your bones are stacked as you straighten your arm. Inhale, reach your right hand up. Exhale, lower down. Same thing, other side. Inhale, left hand up. Open up your chest. Exhale, thread the needle. Come down halfway if that feels good, or come down all the way. Top of the hand to the mat and reach your right palm out. So press in with your feet, active legs. And you can keep reaching through both hands and you can stay there or start walking your right hand over to the left side of the mat. Take a nice deep inhale, and on your exhale, reset your right palm underneath your elbow. So when you push up, your arm is stacked. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, lower down. 
So find that tabletop position. Kick through your right heel. So extend your right leg out long. Engage the core, find that stable table. And then you're going to lift your left hand up in front of you like you're giving somebody a handshake. Keep reaching through your heel, through your fingertips, inhale and exhale. Press away the earth, find that cat position of your spine and bring your elbow to your knee underneath you. Head is heavy, inhale back out. Plant your right palm on the ground, bend your right knee and press your heel up to the ceiling. Keep that core engagement, the glute engagement, so you're not dumping into your low back. And then bring your, bring your leg out to the side like you're a dog finding a fire hydrant. So extend your right leg and then plant your heel to the ground or fully seal the ridge of your foot. Then you're gonna scoop your navel, your belly, into your body and help yourself lift up into a neutral spine. So gate pose here, right leg extended, left leg is underneath your hip. You're gonna take your hand to your extended leg. Inhale, lift your left up. Breathe into both sides of your rib cage and exhale, lean to the right. Find a gate pose, take a breath. Return center and plant your left palm and find a supported plank. So left hand underneath your shoulder, reach your right leg up and press through your heel. Oops. So reach your right hand up, take another breath here. If you wanna spice things up, you can bend your right knee and grab on to your outer ankle, inner ankle, press your ankle into your hand. And then also lower down your foot behind you, lift your hips. Sprinkle your hand over your head. And then return to that supported side plank. Come into a gate pose. One more time on the right. And then find a neutral spine. Find a tabletop position, but keep that right leg extended. So I'm gonna turn around, come back onto my mat where y'all are and do some inhales, exhales here, some cat-cow variations. As you inhale, lift the heart, drop the belly. Exhale, tuck the tail, push away the earth. Really opening into that right side of your leg as well as you do this. Feeling different variations. And then sit back into a child's pose with your left leg, ex your right leg extended. So, Still chest to the ground, reach both hands forward. Keep your right heel on the ground or seal your right foot to the earth. And then we'll walk our hands back up. Find a tabletop position, sweep your right leg under. Do another round of cat cow. Sit back into a child's pose, both knees together or both knees apart. Your spine is more extended when your knees are apart, more flexed when they're together. Dealer's choice, do what you want. And then when you're ready, we're gonna meet rolling back up to that tabletop position, stable table, supported table. And you're gonna kick your left heel straight back, toes point down, spin your pinky toe down to the ground. Keep your tapas, your midsection, your core engaged. Inhale, reach your right hand forward. Reach a little bit further through your back heel, through your hand on your inhale. And exhale, push away the earth, bring your elbow to your knee underneath you, tuck your chin, inhale back out. Then exhale, lower down your right hand. Bend your left knee and press your heel up to the ceiling, engaging the glutes, not dumping into the low back, engaging the core. And then open your leg up like a dog looking for a fire hydrant. Spin your heel to the ground or plant your left foot completely. 
scoop your navel in and up and roll up to that gate pose. So I'm gonna turn for the, for the camera. Left hand to your left thigh. Right hip in line with your right knee. Inhale, fill up both sides of your rib cage. Exhale, laterally lean to the left. Banana your arm, rainbow it over, take a breath. And return to the neutral, the center, and then plant your right hand underneath your right shoulder. So supported high plank, side plank here, supported side plank. Reach your left hand up, push away the earth with your right. Reach all of your extremities away from your body. And then if you want to, bend your left knee and catch onto the outer or inner part of your ankle and press your ankle into your hand. Open up. And if you want to, extend or keep your left knee bent and plant your left foot behind you. Open up your chest. This plant's kind of saying hi. And then find that neutral position once more. Woo. So finding that neutral position, slowly do another counter side stretch to the left. And then come forward. So finding a tabletop position with your leg out. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, other way. Do that one more time. And then sit back into that child's pose. So left leg is out, hips go back, right knee is bent, walk your hands forward. Take a few breaths here. Your heel can be on the ground or your left leg, left foot sealed. And we'll slowly roll up into a tabletop position. So sweep your left leg underneath you. Face the front of your mat if you've shifted a little bit. Tuck your toes and start to straighten your legs. So start to walk your dog and like your sits bones are being lifted with a string up to the ceiling, lift your hips up to the top corner of the room. Bend your knees generously if you have any bends in your back and keep pressing through your mat with your hands, with your shoulders. Take an inhale, reach your right leg straight up. Exhale, bend your knee, draw some circles with your knee. Go both ways. Stack your right knee on top of your left. Open up your hip bones, take an inhale. And exhale, draw your knee into your chest. Step your foot through, lower down your back knee. Inhale, Anjane Asana, lift up. Exhale, palms at the heart center. Bring them out to a T. Inhale. And exhale, keep using your core. Twist to the right. Lead with your chest. Keep digging your right heel into the mat to your left knee, energetically holding your legs together. Inhale, lengthen. Bring your hands together at your heart center. And exhale, hover your left elbow over your right knee. So take another inhale to lengthen. Exhale, start to lower, leverage your elbow onto your knee and press your hands into each other. Press your right hand into your left. So take a breath here. Maybe your toes are tucked. Lift your back knee off of the ground, finding a high lunge with a twist. Take a breath. And then lower back down, unwind. Find a crescent lunge, reach up, mini back bend. Exhale, find a half split. So shimmy your right foot slightly forward. Right hip hitchhiker's thumb into your right hip crease. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, keep length as you fold forward. Take another inhale to lengthen. And exhale, this time flex forward, like in that cat position, spine rounds. Take another inhale, exhale. 
and bend your front knee. Tuck your back toes. Step back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot straight up and back. Bend your left knee and draw some circles in there. Make sure our head is heavy. Maybe give it some shakes, yes, some shakes, no. Stack your left hip on top of your right. Take an inhale. And then draw your knee into your chest. Step it through. Lower down your back knee. Untuck your toes or keep them tucked. Inhale, Anjane Asana, low lunge. Exhale, palms together, heart center. Inhale out to a T. So squeezing the shoulder blades together, opening the chest, drawing the left heel back, right knee forward. Take another inhale to lengthen and exhale, twist to the left. Inhale once more, drop the shoulders, lift the crown of the head. Bring your hands together at your heart. Start to hover, inhale, lift, and exhale, hover your right elbow on top of your left knee. Keep creating length on your inhales. And then exhale, take your right elbow, place it on the outside of your left knee. Leverage your heart, open a little bit more. And then lift your back knee if you want. High lunge with a twist. Take another inhale, high lunge with a twist. And exhale, lower down. This time, step back into a high plank. Inhale, press away the earth. Exhale, have your forearms perpendicular. Let your elbows shave your rib cage. Lower down all the way. Untuck your toes, find a low cobra. So reach, levitate your hands off of the ground in front of you. Engage the back muscles, look at a spot on the floor in front of you so you're not extending too far through your spine. And exhale, tuck your toes, find a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg straight up. Exhale, knee to chest, step your right foot through, spin down your back heel. Pinwheel out your arms for a warrior two. So I face the wrong way, but this is fine. Heel in line with your knee. Reach through both hands, left hand to your thigh. Inhale, reach your right up. Exhale, extended side angle. So place your forearm into your thigh and really press it into your thigh. Reach your left hand over. Then reach both hands over like you're holding up the world. Take another breath. And then exhale, lower both hands. Turn your heel, left heel up. Take an inhale, runner's lunge. Exhale, right leg steps through, high plank. Inhale at the top, push away the earth. Exhale, lower down halfway or all the way. Inhale, lift up, and you can always come onto your knees if, you're, if you want. It's up to you whether you want to make it harder, easier. We'll meet in that downward facing dog. Inhale, take your left foot up. Exhale, bring it into your chest. Spin your back heel down and cartwheel open your hands for that warrior two pose. So if we had flashlights shining out of our hands, they'd be lighting up our ankles. Take your right hand to your side. Inhale, lift your left up. And exhale, find that extended side angle. Okay, so coming back into that child's pose. Knees separate or together. Fold your chest forward, melt into the mat. And then come onto your elbows. Straighten out your legs. Lower your belly to the floor. And find a sphinx pose. So in this sphinx pose, you're gonna take your left hand and thread the needle, top of your left hand underneath your right armpit. And then you're gonna bend your right knee and extend your right hand out long. So finding a twist here, 
pressing through your left heel, reaching through the crown of your head, breathing into your lower belly. And then gently return to your Sphinx pose, slowly unwind. Maybe lift up into a Cobra, lift the chest up even more, squeeze the glutes, press the feet in. And find that Sphinx. Then take your right hand, flip it, bring it underneath your left armpit. Bend your left knee and start to find a twist. Open up your chest, bring your left hand long out to your side and lower your left hip away from your torso. Breathe into your belly. And slowly return to that Sphinx posture. Now bring your forearm, forehead into your forearms here. Bring your hands out long, give the earth a hug, and take your left cheek to the mat. Same thing on the other side, right cheek to the mat. Just imagine with every inhale, exhale, creating space, getting rid of tension. And returning to a neutral spine, coming back into a child's pose for just a second. And then heading into a seated position. So you can cross the ankles, roll over the feet, and then roll back. You're a happy baby. So embody a happy baby. You can keep holding onto your toes. Maybe straighten one leg, bend the other, play tug of war with your feet, press your feet into your hands. You can also grab onto the outer ridges of your feet if you want. You can stay still here, pressing your, pressing your armpits and your knees together, or you can rock. And just start to wind down into Shavasana. So the final resting pose for this practice you can take up space, spread out your arms, your feet. And then close your eyes and bring that focus back to your breath. And a normal Shavasana can take a few minutes. So just focus your energies here, lying down. And I will leave you there. Thank you for joining this practice. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you liked my outfit that I wore in today's video, make sure to check out the shelf below and purchase one for yourself. And don't forget to check out my next video. Bye. Introducing Yoga Plus. Offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus. Download now for free.